Hello! Can you guys hear me? I think I've set it up correctly. It's been a while. The the part that I always forget about uh, about live streaming is that you have to you have to connect your software, but then you also have to tell YouTube that you're starting. So I always forget to do one or the other. So uh, yeah, yeah, all right, cool. People can hear me. I've got the I've got the audio set kind of in the middle, so we'll see if that's okay or not. Well. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to start with explaining the new features and stuff, but I'll tell you uh, one new feature is that the audio sliders now work on a logarithmic scale. So if you want to make the the game quieter, you don't have to put it down to like 10% anymore. Now you can put it to like 50% and it's much quieter. So I think that's a feature that's like an underrated feature that people will appreciate. And it's helpful for, uh, for live streaming too. So, uh, yeah, this is the options menu. There's a few new things here you'll notice. Uh, you've got, obviously, the music and sound volume works differently, but now you can also enable the map grid, which is something that people liked uh, in EBF5 on the mobile version. It can show you the tiles on the map. And screen shake, I think, wasn't a separate option before, but now it is. Uh, turning that off will improve performance quite a bit. Uh, I've added a debug feature here. That's a permanent feature now. You can play the game at double the speed. I think a lot of people will like that, especially for uh, replaying on New Game Plus, since you have to beat the game three times for all the achievements. So uh, that's a helpful addition, I think. Uh, in terms of uh, full screen options, I I've actually removed a lot of the resolutions because most people just play on a 1080p or best fit, which just stretches the game to whatever screen size you have. And if that's too big for some reason, then you can do one of these resolutions to use a lower one. Uh, oh, and the final new option is you can change the user interface. So just to show off the, the changes in the user interface, I'll stick to brown for now. And the game's gonna look like, uh, it's gonna look like EBF5. All right, I'm gonna, gonna skim through the comments real quick and then get started. Da, 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 da. All right, everyone's just saying hello. Okay, I'll get started then. Uh, I've deleted all of my medals, so this is a, a new game. I've had, I have a, I quickly played up to the, the factory area. The game actually crashes there, so hopefully we don't make it that far. And uh, that's something I'll fix before the next live stream. So the big, the big, big, big new feature that you guys might notice in this version is that the game is now widescreen. It's in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And on PC, it is now locked to that aspect ratio. But if you're playing it on a mobile device, it goes even wider. Uh, I think on mobile, it goes up to 20 by 9. So you've got a little extra bleed area on the sides. Uh... So that, that's a big feature that took a lot of work. Uh, all the like enemy animations and the spell animations and stuff have been updated to be wider. Uh, the user interface, I had to change all the menus to make use of the extra space. So that, that all took a lot of work and this game's not programmed very well so it was kind of rough doing all that. But uh, you'll see more of that later. The other thing you'll notice here is that Anna starts at her house now, which is new. She used to start in the middle of town. But uh, a decent amount of people were getting lost in the town, not really knowing where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do first. So I've kind of changed the... I haven't really changed the layout of the town, but I've, I've improved the signposting. So now you kind of can follow the paths that are on the floor here to kind of tell where you're going. And there's, uh, there's big red arrows that tell you where the first area is if you want to go straight to fighting. Oh, uh, s someone noticed that I got to the factory in 17 minutes. Well, I, I have a cheats menu here that uh, that you guys won't have. So I, I can give all the enemies 1 HP, which is what I did. Uh, but yeah, that stuff's pretty handy. Uh, you, you won't be able to access it without, uh, without modifying the game, though. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. 
people are saying, yeah, you know, widescreen makes a big difference. You, yeah, yeah, but, but, but. yeah, the widescreen's really cool, right? I, I've, I've forgotten what the game looked like before, right? It, it feels like it was always in widescreen now. So the, the menu, it opens like the menu in e EBF3 now, right? You have to press a button to open the menu. Uh, so you can either click there, you can also right click anywhere to open the menu, or you can press escape or M or enter, or whatever key you like. There's a lot of ways to open the menu, so it shouldn't really be a big inconvenience that you have to press an extra button to open it. I'm gonna I'm gonna play on epic mode until the game gets too slow because epic mode will it'll make sure that I have to actually test all of the game's mechanics properly or else I'll just die. Whereas if I played on easy, I would just kind of rush through the game and maybe not test everything. So yeah, that's kind of the purpose of me streaming here. Uh, I haven't I haven't really played through the game yet. I've been working on it for uh, I don't know maybe two or three months, on and off like not constantly. So I've been working on it for a long time, making a lot of changes, uh, getting ready for the mobile ports, and I haven't really played through the game to see if everything works, except for like uh, taking a few screenshots for the for the store page. So uh, yeah, so not not only am I testing the game, I'm also kind of showing it to you guys so you can get hyped up. Why am I developing in AS3? Well, AS3 has been around for a long time, and <laughs> I'm still using it because that's what this game is made in. I know it still works pretty well. Works well on mobile now. So yeah, the you can play with the the brown interface like EBF5, or you can go back to the blue one, or you can use the black one as well if you uh, if you have vision problems. That helps for some people. Uh, let's see, where am I? How many people are watching? Oh, there's almost 300 people watching. That's pretty good. I think that's the most I've ever had on a live stream. I remember having 200 at some point in the past, but 300 seems pretty high. I guess, uh, I guess a lot of people are excited about this. Alright, I've barely played. I've just been talking, so I'm just gonna collect as much as I can in the starting town here. Uh... One, well, yeah, because I want to show off all the new features. One feature that's kind of subtle that most people might not really notice at first until I point it out is that uh, a lot of items on the map have like a, a more accurate hitbox now, like NPCs to talk to them. You've got two tiles you can click on, which uh, in the past you had to click on an NPC's uh, bottom half to talk to them. But now you can click on their face as well, which makes it a lot easier, especially on uh, on mobile screens. And this, this applies for pretty much everything. This is true uh, for the shops, like the, the area I can click for the shop is bigger now. Enemies have two tiles I can click. Signs are easier to read now because you, you can click on the sign and in front of it. Whereas previously you had to click in front of the sign to, to read it, which was really counterintuitive. That was really lazy programming. Uh, before I continue, I need to grab this. And can I grab this one as well? Yep. All right, got a good flare. There we go. Quick start and grab this egg for a side quest. All right. Uh, someone's asking, when does the mobile version release? So the mobile port is about 65% done, which means most of the features that I need for the Steam version are uh, are almost finished now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna publish the Steam version soon. And when, once that is done and tested and everything works correctly, I'll add the last few features I need for mobile, which are uh, like ads and in-app purchases and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, it might take only a month if, if things go well. But that will be Android first. iOS users will probably have to wait longer because uh, uh, Android is easier to test games on because on iOS you have to fiddle around with a lot of extra stuff like... Uh, certificates and stuff and I'm just not as familiar with iOS so so I always publish on Android first uh, am I missing anything here yes this one 
get an achievement for talking to the chicken. Uh, I think you'll notice here that I've blocked off this path up here, right? You can't go this way anymore. And that's, uh, that's to help people uh, not go the wrong way when they're starting the game. And uh, over here, you'll notice Battle Mountain is not accessible right at the start. I think you have to beat the first boss to go to Battle Mountain. Which is, I, I did it that way so people don't get lost right at the beginning. Because there's, there's no point of going there right now. So yeah, the, basically the starting town is uh, it's a bit friendlier for beginners now. And I think uh, this NPC over here who used to make fun of you for playing on easy mode, she, uh, she doesn't do that anymore. So <laughs> it's not nice to make fun of people on easy. And easy is no longer the easiest option now. There's a zero difficulty option if you want to go even easier. If you just want to rush through the game for the story or whatever. Or, or for the achievements, right? You can set it to zero and only change it to epic for the bosses. That's a totally legit way to play the game. Because playing the whole game on epic uh, takes quite a long time. And uh, the normal battles aren't that fun for everyone. Oof, there's a lot of comments. Wow. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, some of them are in, in Spanish. I can't read those. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Keep making fun of people. Why do these new titles look better than the EBF ones? Oh, you mean the Entering the Town one? I don't know which titles you mean. Uh, do, 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 do. Game looks even more amazing now. Uh, for the most part, the game looks the same. Uh, it's just widescreen. The, the interface looks different, right? The interface looks a lot like the EBF5 interface now. So all the menu icons are still the original ones from EBF4, but like the the menu windows, uh, they're all uh, they're all from EBF5. And I changed uh, I changed the status icons. Not everyone will like this. The status and element icons look the same as it in EBF5 now. And the, the reason for this is, uh, well, it's complicated, but I had to I had to redraw them without the use of, like, uh, filters so that they would display properly on, uh, on mobile screens. So I wasn't going to do that twice. I redrew them for EBF5, and then I just reused them here. So, yeah, not everyone will be happy that I've changed the icons for uh, statuses and elements, but it's a lot cleaner, and... It's more consistent between games now, so if you've played EBF5 and you're coming back to this one, it'll be a lot more familiar to you. But uh, the icons in EBF5 were, were drawn a lot better, so hopefully people appreciate the higher quality icons. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still in the starting town. Let's see, what do I need? There's one quest here that you can finish as soon as you start the game. Oh, yeah, I need to get this. Alright, what do I... Oh, oh, there's blue text. That's wrong. That text should be white. Because uh, you can change the color of the windows now. There shouldn't be any blue text anymore. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a note of that. Alright, and what do I actually get? I get a, get a pocket clock. Is that useful? I don't know. I feel like the, the equipment abilities in EBF4 aren't quite as interesting. That's an EBF5. Will the update provide better compatibility with the Steam Deck? Ah, but yes, because uh, the interface is now designed to be mobile friendly. So all the text and buttons are a little bit bigger so that you can tap them more easily. And this means the game will also be a lot more uh, uh, pleasant to play on the Steam Deck because text will be bigger. It'll be easier to read uh, It still doesn't have any controller support. So that kind of sucks But in terms of like readability the game is much easier to play on a small screen now And there, there's no option to change that that's just the default size now Everything's just a bit bigger than it used to be What am I drinking? I, I'm drinking fake Pepsi from Aldi. Uh, Aldi sells the best fake Pepsi.
So before fighting any of the monsters, I'm gonna pick up the second party member right away. Look at these cutscenes. They're all widescreen now. Uh, these were actually quite easy to to convert to widescreen, right? Because these are so cartoony that I can just stretch some of the like backgrounds, like the rocks and stuff in the background, and you, and people won't really notice that it's been stretched. So yeah, these cutscenes were quite easy to convert to widescreen. Though I, I did crop a bit at the bottom and at the top, so there's a little bit of it that's been cut off because of this change. But I tried to make sure that I positioned everything well so you wouldn't you wouldn't miss anything important. Uh, right now, uh, the animations in the cutscenes aren't working because in the mobile version they won't be animated; they'll just be images. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put the animations back in for the Steam version. Uh, oh wow, I've got I've got a lot of chat to catch up on. How about the fan art? Yeah, there's a lot of new fan arts that's been added to this. Uh, maybe I'll show those off later. Uh, this is a epic difficulty run. But I might change that later if I get bored. Uh, someone says the interface is clean. Yeah, I, I think it looks a lot better than before. But like, obviously, it's a bit it's a bit uncanny valley if you're going straight from the old one to the new one. Uh, I'm not adding any new enemies or bosses in this update, but uh, the bosses do have dialogue now. Every major boss speaks about five lines of dialogue now. So they've all got a bit more personality like uh, like an EBF5. But but there is new content. There's uh, There's new weapons, there's new summons, and there's new skills. And, uh, and, and new achievements as well to go along with those. Uh, the new the new stuff you can find though it's all in Battle Mountain so it's all in the optional area. Well, I think almost all of it. Maybe maybe some some RNs. So uh, for what that means for Steam users is that well everyone will have access to that as normal. But on mobile it will be in a paid version of the game. So it'll be it'll be free to play. You can play the whole story mode for free, and you can pay to get Battle Mountain. And all the extra bosses and stuff that you can find in there. And uh, there's, there's a lot of equipment to find there now. Someone's asking if the glitch is a summon. Uh, maybe. I don't think I revealed what all the new, new content was. I revealed most of it, but not everything. Uh, someone says they love that I actually care about older games. Well, it, I'm not just updating it because I care about the game. I, I do want to uh, to release it on mobile, so uh, I definitely have to upgrade it uh, to be widescreen and also to, to run a bit better and to make the user interface more mobile friendly. Uh, there's been there's been some optimizations in the game. Uh, a lot of stuff that's that used to run really slowly should be running a bit better now. Uh, menus used to open quite slowly because the icons were very heavy. Every time the game drew an icon, like, the, it had to load every icon at once and then just pick the correct one. So now, uh, now icons load a bit more cleanly. Uh, the same, there was a similar issue with, like, uh, each area of the map. Like, the whole map was loaded at all times, and, uh, the further you got in the game, the slower it took maps to start up for this reason. So, uh, well, basically maps, it only loads the map that you need now, so going to a new area should load a lot faster now. And I mean, that wasn't noticeable for most people, but if you had like a slower computer, or if you're, you know, if you're playing the game on a mobile phone, then you will notice stuff like that. So I, I had to fix all these really annoying issues. And uh, in the original version of this game that launched on Steam, there was a really bad memory leak as well. So over time, the game would just get laggier and laggier. 
I fixed that a few years ago in version 2 of the game, but version 2 never came out of beta because I didn't want to delete everyone's saved games. So it just stayed as a beta option for a long time. But uh, in this version, I figured out how to, I think, automatically convert the old save files to the new format. So hopefully I can just make this version live for everyone and it won't really affect them. Like, hopefully all the everyone's saved games will still be intact. The issue was that the, the first version of this game on Steam used some third-party software to encrypt uh, to, un to encrypt the save files, and uh, that software has since uh, become defunct. So I had to kind of figure out what encryption algorithm they're using to, to do that. But I think I figured it out, and I think I can automatically convert the the old files to the new format. Will you pay up front for the mobile version? No, no, it's it's free to play. Uh, you will... You will get more experience if you watch adverts or if you pay to disable adverts. And you will also get Battle Mountain if you pay. It will it'll add up to... Uh, what was it? Yeah, twelve dollars in total. So like the like the Steam version used to be. If you want to buy everything, but if you don't want to spend any money, then you can still enjoy the entire game. Is solo math strategy still playable? I don't know. I've never never tried that in this game. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Scan time. Yeah, I, I should scan the enemies. Uh, actually, I don't have to, right? Look at this. I have the option here to... Where is it? Auto scan. There we go. All enemies are scanned now. It's that easy. And you don't get punished for using auto scan. Because uh, it doesn't really give you a huge advantage. It just saves you some time. Wait, what happened? It didn't show the enemy's name. Did auto scan actually work? Okay, so I can see the enemy information, but it's not showing their name in the corner. So that's a bug. I need to write that down. Oh well, that's something I guess. But if I do, uh, if I do actually scan them, then it'll show the name properly. That's another new feature, by the way, showing the enemy names next to their life bars. They didn't have that in the original game. And that's because the, the Congregate logo used to sit there. But now that's gone and there's more space. Forgot this. Oh, yeah, I should probably equip these. Ha. Huh. Do I plan on revisiting EBF3? Uh, probably not. 
Maybe for some very minor, like, uh, enhancements later, I don't know. But I'm not gonna port it to mobile, it's, it's very outdated, and I'd have to reprogram, like, the entire game to make it work on mobile. So I don't want to do that for a, a free web game, because... Well, I pr like, no one's gonna pay for it. And it would be a lot of work, so... Uh, you just, just play it on your PC. The pop-up is very big. Which pop-up? Was the SP bar always there? No, I, I moved the SP bar to, to make better use of the screen area. Because everything's bigger, so the SP bar wouldn't fit at the bottom anymore. Uh, does do steroids work the same way? Uh, yeah, but you can uh, you have the option to reset all of your steroids now. So if you make any mistakes, you can change it later. Uh, can you import uh, .sol files? Uh, yeah, but you'll have to move them to a different save folder. It's not ideal. You're better off just moving your .meow files. That should be easier. I'll scan the enemies every once in a while. Just to make their names appear. There we go. Do I plan on making an EBF collection on mobile? No way. Most of the games would never work on a touch screen. Well, maybe some of them would, but it's, it's not worth the trouble at this point. Like, EBF1 is, is on mobile, and, and it, no one's really interested in playing it. But I did put a price tag on it of like $1 or something. Uh, the UI change is, you have the option to go back to blue, if that's what you mean. Look, it's blue again. But, uh, but this is what the UI looks like now. It looks like the EBF5 UI, but bigger, because it's mobile friendly. So that, that yeah, change isn't, isn't for everyone, I guess. It looks a bit, uh, looks a bit different. If you want the original experience, you'll probably have to stay on the older version of the game. I mean, it wouldn't have the original uh, UI anyway, because to make the game widescreen, I had to change a lot of the UI. Uh, do these work on Steam Deck? Yeah, they, they, they run reasonably well on Steam Deck. I played EBF 5 and uh, yeah, it worked fine. Obviously, it's it would be nice if it, if it had controller support, but you can still play with the, the trackpad on Steam Deck.
Though, uh, there's some issues on Steam Deck if you try to change the game's resolution or something. So that, that might cause issues. But like, if you, if you choose the right options, it should work on Steam Deck just fine. The green bar of XP disappears when it's full in the victory screen. Yeah, I think that's a bug that was always there and I never bothered to fix it. And I, I probably still won't bother because it's, <laughs> it's just part of the game and it's not a big deal. Oh, I should maybe go get Natalie before I do the optional basils here. There's no option to shrink the UI size. It's it's just permanently bigger now. Which I guess looks a little bit weird. Yeah. If you're not used to it. I got used to it pretty quick though. I don't mind. Uh, there, there is no regular mode. The game is in widescreen now, unless you go to an older version. And the older version will stay available on Steam. You'll be able to, to change it back if you want. Though, uh, I don't know if the saved games will work if you go back. Maybe they will. I think they should. Actually, I don't know. It might cause issues. not good uh i'm gonna come back to this i'm gonna go get nasally first oh yeah yeah you can there's a, a lot of stuff i added in version two that i totally forgot about like uh you can change characters in battle faster stuff like that there's a lot of quality of life that was added in that all right, there we go. There's Natalie. Is screen wrapping still a thing or is that patched? Uh, I don't know. If that was a bug, then maybe it still works. I'm not sure. I did uh, I did change how maps are loaded, so it, it maybe is fixed. I don't know. Here's another bug. The the key doesn't well, the box doesn't tell you a key you need. How well does the game run on 4K resolution? Uh probably not very well. Uh if you have a very powerful computer, then maybe it works fine. You'll need a you'll need a fast CPU. But I I don't really recommend playing in 4K. Like uh some of the textures might be blurry. I mean, it is a 10 year old game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of the performance issues should be fixed now. Even in version two, most of them were fixed.
Uh, is there a reason there's so limited water attacks? I think that's more of a problem in uh, in EBF3. Though, I, I guess there's still not that many, even in this one. I mean, I didn't, I didn't put that much effort into balancing these games, unlike EBF5, where, where I had a, a lot of people balancing stuff. Even after the game was out, I was still making balance updates. Whereas uh, EBF4, when it was done, it was done, and it, I just shipped it. Does No Legs get his updated look? Uh, no Legs has like a, a half updated look. No Legs looks like this. So he's uh, he's not the old No Legs, but he's not the new one either. How do I organize my schedule? Uh, I don't know. I, I work whenever I feel like it. Until I get too tired. The, the mana bottle shouldn't be in Nats' portrait, right? Oh, is it? Oh, I'll take a look at that. there there's something don't know what you mean ah so many wasps No legs is pretty powerful at this point in the game. Uh, is still is this still done in flash? Yes, everything's still flash. Everything I make is still flash, even on mobile, even on Steam. Oh, when Natalie talks in battle, it's there. Okay, uh, I'll try to pay more attention to that. Yeah, the in Basil uh, portraits are new. That's a new feature. The characters didn't have like the yeah full face. Oh, here. Uh, I don't see anything. But I can rewatch the stream later and see if I see any any bugs on the stream. Is it worth using no legs here? Maybe. Uh, someone's asking, is this the mobile port on PC or the PC version? Uh, they're kind of mostly the same thing now. Uh, I basically use the, the same interface on both of them because uh, I had to redo the interface on the PC version anyway because it's widescreen now and I'm not I'm not making two interfaces for both versions of the game. I'm, there's no way I'm doing that. So, uh, so you get one interface from both, which means it's a little bit big on PC, but that does mean it's easier to play on the Steam Deck. So I guess I guess that's your compromise.
Do I like MP or the cooldown system? Well, MP was kind of boring in my opinion. That's why I got rid of it. It's not really, it's not really a big consideration in this game, is it? Like, uh, you you rarely run out of MP. Uh, I'm, I'm one of the only people that, like, completely uses Flash for the whole game, but there's a lot of people that use Flash for parts of the game. Like, uh, Edmund McMillan still uses Flash for uh, his artwork. Uh, like, uh, Super Meat Boy, the original Binding of Isaac, and his newer stuff. That's all the arts is done in, uh, in Flash. And I think the, the Behemoths games are also, the arts is done in Flash there as well. So Castle Crashers and all that. And there's plenty of more more as well. Like there's there's a lot of games that still use Flash for the arts. Uh, what are my thoughts on enemies stealing all of your MP? Well, I changed that a bit, so now you have the option to, to defend against that. Uh, if you have Siphon Resistance now, it, it reduces how much MP gets stolen. My dog appears to be doing something upstairs. I, I hear a lot of a lot of movements above me, and no one else is home, so that's very suspicious. Uh, is that wave one slash one in SP new? Yeah, this little window here at the top. That's that's new. Uh, the, I think the wave counter in the SP bar used to be at the bottom. There was like nothing in that corner, so I just moved some information up there to fill the screen. Is it just me or is everything smaller? What? No, the, the user interface is bigger. Uh, keyboard support. Well, the, the keyboard support is the same as before. You can walk around with the keyboard and you can open the menu with the keyboard and that's about it. Is is uh is siphon resistance capped at a hundred? Uh, uh, I don't remember. I, th I think like uh, if you have a hundred or more siphon resistance, then MP drain will do nothing. It just does zero. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Why do they get a different amount of XP at the end of battle? Uh, I don't know. Nathalie's level 6, so she's going to be leveling up a bit slower. Yeah, portraits and battle are pretty good. That's a big improvement in my opinion. I don't know why I never did it from the beginning. It's not like it was a lot of extra work. 
But yeah, the, the characters' battle di dialogue is a bit more colorful now. So that's nice. Oh, why do the enemies make cute noises? Uh, some of the sound effects have been changed, actually. Because, uh, the... That's... Not everyone will like that, but like in the original version, some of the sounds I used were pretty low quality. So I try to use some sound effects from EBF5 and some completely new ones just to kind of, you know, make the game sound a bit better. But if you're really familiar with how the game used to sound, it might feel a bit weird. So yeah, this definitely isn't like the, the super nostalgia version. If you want the proper nostalgic experience, you'll uh, you'll want to play the original game and not this version because there's there's a lot that's been changed here. I mean the the main gameplay hasn't changed very much, but some of the kind of graphics and sounds have just to just to make the game kind of more modern, you know, look, to look better on a widescreen and uh, to kind of sound and look better for a new audience. Are the buffs still stackable? Yeah, yeah, the buffs work the same as before. But now your uh, your backup character is also affected by buffs now. Which uh, which encourages you to, to use them a bit more. But uh, you probably won't anyway. Because of the way uh, how uh, stat boosting items work in this. You're not really encouraged to use all four characters. Uh, the cheats and challenges will be behind a paywall on mobile, but on, on Steam they're just included along with everything else. Maybe I should have saved that limit break for a harder fights, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Actually... Does she give me a quest? Yes. I'm definitely not remembering to talk to everyone because, well, I'm not going to read what they say anyway. I haven't really changed any of the, the text. I've added new text, but I haven't really changed any of the existing stuff. So there's not really any reason for me to read it again. Patch the speedrun glitches. Uh, not on purpose. It's possible they don't work anymore, but I didn't. I didn't purposefully do anything to to fix them. be any changes to how money is acquired in the early game uh, I haven't changed any of that but if you're referring to uh, to needing to buy coffee then I, I could make coffee cheaper 
since uh, you do end up using a lot of it basically everywhere in the game. Oh, that wasn't very good. Got an achievement though. Why is the HP hidden without uh, scanning? Uh, I think that's correct. That's supposed to be a feature, but uh, I'm using auto scan, so it should be showing the HP and the enemy's name, but it's not. So that's a that's a minor bug. He survived with one HP? Wow. SP cost of summons isn't showing. Ah, you're right. That's something I need to change. Well spotted. I wonder why that is. I'm, I'm, I must have changed something with the icons by accident. Anyway, it's been almost an hour since I started streaming, so I'm going to take a five minute break and go see what the dog is doing. But before I go, I'm going to leave a, a list of changes on the screen so you guys can discuss that if you want. Uh, where is it? There we go. Alright, there's a list of all the stuff that's changed in version 3, but that doesn't include all the stuff in version 2. So... If you've only played version 1, there's a lot more than what you see here. Alright, I'll be back in 5 minutes.
All right, I'm back. I'm gonna quickly read through the chat and see what everyone's saying. Uh, did I think about creating another games franchise besides EBF? I mean, yeah, I could. I started doing that with Hidden Cats, but then no one was interested in the game until I added EBF characters to it. So uh, I think I'm stuck with them just to just to get more attention, right? Uh, someone's holding out hope for an EBF dating sim. Uh, Hidden Cats will have uh, more character dialogue. It won't be a dating sim, but it will have like kind of the EBF characters doing more casual things. So that might scratch a bit of that itch. Will Power Blast be added to EBF 5? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I think EBF 5 has enough content forever. It doesn't really need anything more. But uh, mods are uh, being made for it. Like uh, people on Discord are making cool mods for EBF 5. So if you want more content, you can check out some of those. Uh, oh, all costs in the menus disappeared. Oh, that's not good. Let me let me take a look. Uh, let's go to battle and see. Let's get rid of that. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, they're back now. Okay. That's interesting. So the costs for everything disappear at some point, but then they come back. So I think, uh, yeah, I think I probably made a mistake when programming my icons at some, somewhere. I have some idea about what's happening there, but uh, that's gonna be annoying to figure out exactly where the problem is. All right, well spotted. Mm. Yeah, there's an option to change the, the user interface colors. So you've got brown, black, and blue now. Same as EBF5. And that's black, there you go. Uh, I think most people will probably stick to blue because that's, that's what they're familiar with, but for new players, I think brown is more easy on the eyes. Does Hidden Cats have actual lore? Uh, I haven't written it yet, but it will. Yeah, the there will be a decent amount of dialogue between levels, I think. And I'll uh, I'll try to make it interesting. It'll be like Bullet Heaven 2, but better. Because the Bullet Heaven 2 dialogue was kind of like just silly and wacky, and it didn't really have any coherent story. But I think for Hidden Cats, I can uh, do a mu much better job, and I think I'll, I think I'll manage to make it more interesting, but also quite different from what I've written before. Some people say they'll play Hidden Cats whether or not the character characters are in it or not. Yeah, I would hope so. It's gonna be a. Uh... It's gonna be a game that pretty much anyone can play. It'll be a fairly kind of casual game that's easy to get into. So like uh, like five year olds can play it. Like old pensioners can play. It. Like yeah, I think anyone can play it. Though I want to make sure that it's still interesting for EBF fans, even if they don't really like that kind of game. So for that purpose, I think I need to put the EBF characters in it with a bit of dialogue. And uh, that'll also kind of make it stand out a bit from similar games that don't have any mascots. <laughs> Do I have a specific design philosophy for the premium bosses? Uh, really, I just wanted to make harder bosses that didn't take a lot of work, which meant reskinning the existing bosses and just trying trying to make them different. That was the main thing, just try to make them different from what's already in the game.
How did uh, how did I meet Frenna? Uh, on Newgrounds, uh, like while I was working on EBF two. Newgrounds or Congregate? Uh, well, Congregate is dead. Basically, the all the original staff are gone. Like no one who works at Congregate worked there ten years ago. So Newgrounds is better now. But Congregate was a lot of fun back in the day. They did really good game curation. Whereas Newgrounds kind of let let people kind of, you know, make their own achievements and do whatever they wanted. Which was sometimes good, sometimes bad. What's my opinion on Steam Workshop? Uh, I've never really used it, I don't know. Uh, for, for my games it doesn't matter because my games don't have any kind of convenient way of loading mods. You just have to patch the file like a ROM hack. So you're not you're not going to be loading, you're not going to be using a mod loader for my games. You're going to be using a, a patch. Hidden Cats needs more love. I agree. I think Hidden Cats isn't getting the attention it deserves. But it's a, it's a casual game, so there's not really that much to talk about, which is why I want to add a story to it. So that people will have something to talk about. And I, I want to add more, like, kind of customization options so people have stuff to talk about. Like, I want to give people the option to, like, take a souvenir from each level they complete. So then at the end of the game, people can share, like, all the souvenirs they've collected. Stuff like that I think might be fun. I don't understand this this fascination with no legs and cheese but it's pretty funny what boss was the most fun to design oh for this game I have no idea I don't remember that far back uh, I don't I, I don't remember I mean they're, they're all it's the same process for every boss basically All right, let's kill these enemies. Yeah, yeah, Congregate is in a pretty bad state. They were uh, they, they were bought by GameStop, and then uh, after a few years, they were bought again by a different company. So the latest company isn't managing them very well. They started doing crypto stuff and uh, not really committing to, to browser games anymore. They're, uh, they're still publishing mobile games, but they're all like idle clicker games. So nothing I'm really interested in. Is Hidden Cats also made in Flash? Yes, it is made in Flash, but it runs a lot better because it's designed to be played in a Flash emulator called Ruffle. So Hidden Cats, you should be able to play in 4K, no problem if you have a powerful computer. And it should look pretty good in 4K as well. And uh, it also works in like random resolutions as well. Like Hidden Cats looks great on my ultra wide monitor which which is uh, 32 to 9 aspect ratio. Game looks great. And it runs well at 60 FPS, which most of my games are, are 30 FPS. The only 60 FPS games that I've made are Cat Cafe and Bullet Heaven 2. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, I, I talked about uh, adding EBF mods to Steam betas. Yeah, yeah, that's what I will do once the once there's a mod or two that is kind of in a mostly complete state. I will add it to the betas tab in Steam to make it easy to download for the average user. Although that it doesn't mean there won't be like complications, like it might it might damage your save file or something. So I'll, I'll tell everyone to to back up their saves first. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully that won't happen. 
Which boss looks the coolest and why is it Praetorian? I, I think I agree. I think that's the coolest boss. Do I think the era of browser games is dying? I think it died a long time ago. I don't I don't think many people are playing games in browsers anymore. Like uh, Congregate is dead. Armor Games is not that popular anymore. Newgrounds is not that popular anymore. I think uh, I think some people are playing uh, browser games on Pokey.com now, uh, but I've I've only played a few games there. So like may, maybe some people are still playing, but I think most people are just playing games on their phone now instead. But uh, I did play a few games on Pokey, and they were okay actually. They're pretty nice. They are basically flash games, but like using modern technologies like HTML5 and Unity and stuff. So it's, it's worth checking out. Am I playing? Am I planning on making more games in the future? Well, I'm still working on two games right now. I'm finishing this and then I'm making Hidden Cats. So I, I I don't think I need to plan any new projects right now. Do I think Ruffle will eventually replace Air for PC? Uh, I hope so, because it on PC, Ruffle runs better than Air. On mobile, uh, both have hardware acceleration for vector graphics, but on PC, only Ruffle does. But what I might end up doing is putting, like, Ruffle inside air when I publish Hidden Cats on Steam. But we'll see, we'll see. Like, uh, the Ruffle developers might add in the features that I need for Steam. So I might not need to use air at all. And for anyone who doesn't know, air is just, like, a, a desktop version of Flash Player, basically. It's just Flash Player with, uh, with like, application features like the option to open files and change your screen resolution and stuff like that and to interface with like steam achievements da, 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 da. uh hidden cats is a beautiful game but is it just a hidden object game uh pretty much there will be there will be some more game modes though there will be a, a spot the difference game mode as well along with some uh, secret game modes that are kind of there just for a laugh. But yeah, it's going to be a pretty simple game. Simple as in, like, the gameplay is easy to learn, but it's it's going to be a pretty long game with a lot of levels. So, like, you'll, you'll learn how to play it in, like, 10 minutes, and then you'll probably spend 20 hours playing it. Yes, my monitor is 32 to 9 aspect ratio. It is, uh, it's pretty stupid. It's basically like having two normal monitors, which, which are better in most cases. The only thing, the only thing this monitor is good for is for some games. Like, uh, Doom Eternal looks very good here. Minecraft looks very good here. When, when will you see Matt or Lance using 7th Heaven? Uh, you're going to have to mod that into the game yourself. But there has been a lot of fan art uh, showing that. Oh my god, there's so many comments. Uh, 60 or 30 FPS. Your games always look smooth, in my opinion. Uh, for EBF, it doesn't really... The frame rate doesn't matter that much because it's not a fast-paced game. Like, it would look nicer in 60 FPS, but you wouldn't really notice it that much. You'd notice it a lot more in action games, though. And Hidden Cats has a lot of camera scrolling. So, for that, 60 FPS is quite nice. Oh, I should probably heal. Do, do, do. Before I, before I get wiped out. Oh, I don't have a lot of items at the start of this game. Uh, I hope browser games can make a comeback with web GPU. 
Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I, I mean, I think the technology for browser games is pretty good now. You can make pretty good games. It's just that for most people, they're, they're just getting their games from the App Store, you know? They're just playing stuff on their phone. And uh, obviously Apple and Google don't want people playing browser games. They want people downloading games from their stores. So they're they're trying to keep things working that way. I need to I need to play this seriously or I'm gonna die here. You don't really have a lot of healing options this early in the game. Will friend dog do anything useful? Let's find out. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Oh no, why is this guy so strong? I don't even have a bomb to throw. I don't even have a healing skill. I thought, I well, oh, I haven't upgraded my skills. That's what I, yeah, okay. I should upgrade my skills after this fight. All right, to make sure I win, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use my limit break here. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, people are talking about Flashpoint. If you wanna play old Flash games, Flashpoint is the best place to do that. It's an app you can download. And it has like the database of every Flash game on it. You can just, yeah, play anything you want. And it's just playing in Flash player. Uh, did, oh, there's so many comments. Uh, yeah, uh, blah, 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 blah. The mobile port of EBF5 was very good. How did you do it and how long did it take? Uh, it took a long time, actually. I think at least half a year. I had to go through all the graphics and programming to make sure everything ran smoothly on a phone. I had to make the interface bigger and mobile friendly. So there was a lot of changes I had to make to the game. But uh, other than that, Flash works better on phones than it does on PC. So that's, uh, that's a nice advantage. Uh, do the Lance of Creation and Blade of Destru Destruction have any coding? No, they're not even Eclipse. They're just items with flavor text. They're not real Eclipse, so you couldn't get them even if you wanted to. Uh, do, 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 do. Use heals, please. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not healing very well because uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to read chat and talk while playing, and it's hard. Is there any gameplay of Hidden Cats? Yeah, there's a demo out already. You can play six levels of the game. The gameplay is. It's not final, but it's 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 pretty good so far. So yeah, if you go to. Uh, I don't remember if, yeah, on my Patreon, there's a free post where you can download a demo of Hidden Cats. Would I consider become a regular streamer? Uh, I mean, I, I have streamed a few other games in the past, uh, but usually, usually I only stream if there's something I'm quite enthusiastic about, like if my friend is releasing a game and I want to cover it, right? Most of the games I've st I've streamed are like small, like browser games, and I want to give them a bit more attention. But other than that, there's like there's probably people that are way more interesting to watch. I, I don't expect to make any money from streaming other than like promoting my games. Oh, da -da -da. All right, time to level up my skills. I need uh, all the fire stuff, obviously. Oh, that's all I can afford? One fire? Okay. Uh, that's good enough. Oh, maybe I should have got barrier. Who has barrier? No one has barrier. Okay, I'll give it to Anna.
And heal more. There we go. Okay, uh, I think that's good enough for now. Uh, I, I mean, I guess for someone who's not really a streamer, having 200 people watching is pretty good. It's not bad. So it's... Uh, it's quite fun to stream, but I think uh, I think people only show up because I'm announcing a new project, right? My normal streams, like if I was streaming a random game, I don't think that many people would be watching. Uh, all right, let me catch up real quick. Have I heard of the EBF iceberg image? I think I've seen it at some point, yeah. Do, 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 do. I did do a live stream of me playing Doom Eternal, but I think I only played the first two levels or something. It's hard though because uh, those games, well, they require my full attention, so I can't really interact with chess or anything. Ever thought of a crossover with other games? Well, EBF5 did have a lot of characters from other games, right? Uh, it had Sushi Cat, Chibi Knight, uh, it had NCH's cat, uh, it had the guy from VVVVVV, uh, it had Bicey of Brackenwood, there, like, there was a lot of cameos in that game, but, like, they were all from Flash games, so most people may have not recognized them. Uh, in Hidden Cats, uh, I might make more interesting cameos. Or, yeah, maybe. I have, uh, I got, uh, like, uh, off-the-record permission to use the, some of the characters from Cult of the Lamb. So, they might show up in the game. In, like, a minor role, right? It won't be, like, a, a main character. It'll be, like, a little, little Easter egg to find. What are these ends in the chats? What is everyone saying? Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's weird, right? Yeah, Chibi Night came out a long time ago. <laughs> Okay, I've caught up with the chat. Alright, I'm gonna fight the boss. Wish me well. Uh, I'm on epic difficulty. Uh, my cheats are okay, so I should get an achievement if I do well. And I'm not gonna use any challenges. Well, actually, actually, I can get an achievement if I enable all the challenges. So, wish me luck. That's gonna be pretty hard. I don't know if I can do this, so you guys are going to have to give me tips. Because I, I haven't practiced. Wait, is he, is he weak against poison? Am I going to have to poison this guy? He's resistant to poison, so that's not going to work. How many people downloaded this game? Uh, I don't know. Go check on Congregate. Quite a lot of downloads. Will I show off the new gallery after this boss? Uh, I mean, I, I, I can, I guess. Uh, if, <laughs> if you want me to show off the art. It's all available as soon as you start the game, so it's not like a spoiler or anything, I guess. 
do, 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 do. Uh, do I want to make a pinball flash game? What? I I don't think so. I don't I don't play pinball. Well, saves from version two get converted into version three. Uh, yeah, I'll try to make that ha happen automatically. So, hopefully, there won't be any issue. Uh, oh my God! Did, did didn't NCH Productions cat character appear in EBF two? Yeah, he appeared in EBF two and three. But then, uh, then uh, NCH got annoyed that people were thinking that the cat was my character and he's not my character. So. So I have to be more careful in the future. Uh, all the ends are from Hispanic people. Okay, cool. Uh, I am brave. I am the gamer. Good luck with the... Okay, will you making your... I'm going to need extra luck. Yeah, I think so. All right, okay. Let's, let's, uh, let's play. Let's see. I'm seriously underleveled. Oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Maybe I should have fought some more, uh, more enemies. Oh god, I can't even hit him. Oh no. What level is he? He's level 8. I'm level 7! That's not good. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll die and then I'll, I'll try again. Oh no, this is impossible. What have I done? Uh, auto scan is supposed to show the enemy stats. It's it doesn't actually scan them, so you can turn it off. Oh, end game boss fan art, not spoil. Yeah, I guess it's a spoiler, but I'm assuming everyone in the chat has already played this game. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I don't think I have any chance here. If Anna dies in one hit, what am I supposed to do? Go level up my equips and everything? Yeah, I don't know. Do I get an achievement with auto scan on? Yes, yes, auto scan is exempt from the achievement limitations. It's one that you can use without any downside. Uh yeah, this is pointless. I'm good. I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm one level lower. I'm going to load my save. I'm going to go fight some monsters. Let's fight this guy. But, uh, let's turn these off. And let's turn on, uh, double speed. I'll show you what double speed looks like. Natalie is uh, stunned. Ouch. Ouch. Oh no. Well, good thing I had double speed on, so I didn't waste very much time. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> All right, let's go find a weaker enemy. Oh, there's stuff I missed. Just grind normal enemies for 100 hours, then I can easily kill him. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh, that was really bad. That was a waste. Ah. <sighs> Oh, oh, yeah. 
Hold on. I loaded my files, so uh, all of the challenges came back on. All right, save. Well, that's not very powerful. Skill issue, yeah. I mean, I haven't played this game in a long time, and I definitely haven't played it with all the challenges on. But people told me the challenges weren't that hard, that it wasn't so bad. Spawn the enemies, there we go. Easy grinding. Oh, gotta kill this bird. What is my inspiration for the EBF art style? Uh, a lot of games that I used to play as a kid, uh, Maple Story, a lot of the user interface and kind of the faces the monsters make are inspired by Maple Story. A lot of the spell animations are inspired by, well, obviously Final Fantasy, but also Golden Sun. Uh, in terms of the art style, it's just kind of based on what, what Flash is good at, which is kind of vector arts. So if you do if you do R and Flash, it kind of ends up looking kind of looking like this. Not always, but sometimes. What is this version three business? Uh, earlier on in the blah, blah, earlier in the video, I, I showed on screen all the all the things that are changed in this version, and uh, at the very start of the video, I basically uh, I explained. I spent a lot of time explaining all the stuff that's been added, so I don't I don't really want to go through it all again. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of changes. The biggest one is that the game is in widescreen now. So that, that changes everything, changes the user interface, it changes how maps and battles look. Uh, the other big difference is that the game now has a mobile friendly interface, so everything's a bit bigger, a bit easier to read. And uh, I know this is the PC version of the game, but it will make the game a lot easier to play on a Steam Deck. And, uh, and if you don't like the new interface, then uh, that's unfortunate, but you'll either get used to it or you can go back to the older version of the game. Because the the older version will still be available on Steam. You'll be able to switch to the older one if you want. Yeah, I, I played Maple Story for two. Oh, oh, the game's crashed. Interesting. That happens sometimes. It usually happens in the factory area. I didn't know it can happen here. I hope it didn't break anything. But luckily you can save and reload the game and it works fine. Most of the time. The, the people who said the challenges were not that bad probably have more hours in the game than it took you to make it. That's possible, yeah. I think the heart, the start of the game has a bit of a difficulty spike on the boss because you don't have a lot of options yet. Like you don't have a lot of healing skills.
Oh yeah, and in case anyone missed that, you can change the color of the UI. So if you want to stay with the blue one, then uh, then you can stay with the blue one. But it's still it's still not the same as the old blue one. I think I'm gonna grind up to level nine or something. Otherwise, I don't stand a chance. <laughs> What's my favorite part of this game? Uh, well, I guess compared to EBF Five, the older, the older games have the advantage that they're they're simpler games. So there's just less less stuff to learn. Some people may prefer that kind of gameplay. It makes them easy to replay, right? Because you can you can replay it faster. Whereas in EBF Five, you know, replaying that game takes a long time because you'll be you'll be compelled to like catch a lot of summons and collect everything even if you've done it before it's hard to play ebf5 and not want to just 100 percent it every time or that's how i feel about it anyway where that, that's also true here but here it takes much less time to find everything uh, what are these guys actually weak against oh a lot of things but not fire I'll use fire anyway. Oh yeah, I should upgrade my stuff, yeah. I could go spend my money, uh, but do I want uh, do I want to upgrade my weapons or my armor first? Would it make sense to add more color options for the UI? Uh, I think I think these options are okay. <laughs> I don't know what other options people would like. I mean, uh, hidden cats will have a lot more, but that's kind of just for fun. In terms of usability, I think the options here are good. You've got the classic blue, you've got brown, which is kind of neutral and easier to look at, and then you've got black for people with like vision impairments. And some people just like black because they play at nice or something, I don't know. Was the old blue UI lighter? Uh, yeah, it was a little bit lighter than this one. Yeah. Uh, on mobile, the the text doesn't have shadows, so the background has to be a bit darker so you can read the text quite easily. It's in protective physical spell, but those enemies were using magic. Well, I didn't know that. I don't. I don't remember all the enemy attacks. I haven't played this game in a long time. I haven't played it since the last time I released an update, like, three years ago. Oh, there's 
a chest down here that I missed. Uh, what are some tips for uh, weapon and armor effects? Uh, you are making an RPG. Okay, uh, well, it, it depends. Like, Final Fantasy just makes it like, every time you find a new weapon, it's better than the previous weapon. So you just use the current thing every time. Or that's what the old Final Fantasy games did anyway. Uh, well, what I do is that all of your weapons are useful in certain circumstances. So if that's what you want to do, then you just have to make sure all of your weapons are useful in different circumstances, right? And the easiest way to do that is just make them different elements. But if you add, like, uh, like special effects, like if your weapons, like, cast spells and stuff, that makes, uh, makes them more interesting to try out all of them to just see how the effects look. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, you know, just just copy what I did, basically. I also make the weapons upgradable because people love upgrades. And then even like a sword you find at the start of the game can be interesting later on if you upgrade it with with expensive items. All right, let's grind a bit over here. What is the best EBF5 summon and why is it Pumpkiss? Yeah, Pumpkiss is pretty good. It's funny how you can stack buffs in this game. I think it's really unbalanced and it's, it's really kind of slow paced. It makes you spend a few turns just buffing, which uh, I didn't really like and that's why I changed it. I think EBF5 does a more interesting job of uh, of strategy with the buffs. Though I'm still not doing very well in this fight. Which uh, doesn't bode well for the boss. Well, I don't need Anna. Maybe I do. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, that healed so little. This is so bad. Oh, cherries. That also doesn't heal very much. Jesus Christ. Wait a second, I have bombs. Ah, not bad. Well, Anna got a level up. That's cool. All right, nine, nine, nine. Okay, everyone's level nine, but I'm still having trouble. Isn't there already a two times speed option in EBF five? Uh, on mobile there is if you if you open the secret debug menu. But by default, I don't think there is. Why is, why is Matt ignoring the Hispanic comments? Because I don't speak Spanish. Uh, this game is so underrated. Uh, it's not that underrated. It sold 150,000 copies on Steam. So that's not bad. Alright, bears. Let's do this. I'm going to waste my limit break here so I don't die. Hopefully it recharges again before the boss. Oh, I'll put the changes on the screen again so you guys can read them while I'm grinding. There you go.
How am I liking the Valentine's Day art? Uh, the judging for the competition is going to be hard. I think uh, there's going to be a lot that are like top tier. Is uh is Jack supposed to be a reference to something? No, he's uh he's just a robot that one of my fans drew a long time ago. I think uh yeah, I think he's still in the credits for the game. If I'm level nine, you can kill the boss, but it will be tricky. <laughs> I think I'm I'm gonna go up to level ten because I I suck. Equipment Remix is either stupid OP or ass. There's no in between. Uh, I kind of agree. I didn't really test it that much. It was supposed to be just a kind of different, weird game mode. But yeah, it's not very balanced. Alright, what can I learn? Ooh, better cleaver. I'm gonna upgrade this first. So I can do massive fire damage. Ooh, do I want Fireball or better Kuhn? Well, I think I need this. As for Anna, eh, I don't really know what she needs. Oh, Revive. Yeah, I'll get that. That's good. Skills are expensive at this point in the game. I can't really afford very many upgrades. Should I even waste my AP on these weaker skills? Yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna... Oh, getting back to the shop is hard. I have to take this slime cat. Alright, what do I actually... Wait, it's the wrong one. Wait, do you have anything useful? Uh, that's expensive. I don't want this, actually. No, I'm not going to waste my money here. I'm going to see if I can upgrade any of my equips. Was there an enemy design that I never got into the games? Well, you can see, like, all of my extra arts that I did. Uh, that's featured in the, in the gallery, but also, uh... Yeah, like, any art that you see that's not in the game could have been in the game. Change Natalie's weapon and armor? To what? What should I change it to? To this one? Oh, Earth Resistance. Yeah, good idea. Does she need poison resistance? Oh, earth is better, yeah. Alright, what, what do I need to upgrade? Oh, do, 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 do. Ooh. oh, I need seaweed. Is that seaweed? Yeah, okay. What about what about Matt? What does he need? Uh I'm not gonna afford that. <laughs> what does Anna need? Silk, that's gonna be expensive. Uh, well, let's start with seaweed. Now I need one silk. That's fine, yeah. Oh, I can't buy silk. Ah! What use is this anyway? Can I buy Amber? Can I buy steel plates? Yes. 
No steel plates, though. Okay. Well, that'll help me a tiny bit, but not much. Oh. Teleport time. How much XP? Okay, I have, I'm almost about to reach level 10. So I'll reach level 10 and then I'll fight the boss again. And maybe I'll have a chance this time. Oh, I can remove the text. Yes, sure. There we go. There, it's gone. didn't level up. Let's kill this guy. So far the build is holding great and stable. Uh, well, I don't know if you saw when it crashed. And the, the spell cost isn't showing up either sometimes. But yeah, uh, nothing too major. I, I think I can fix all of these things pretty soon. Before the next stream anyway. Uh, did, did Anna level up? Yes. Okay, okay, we're leveled up. So I'm gonna, gonna change the speed back to normal. I'm gonna turn all the challenges on. I'm going to turn off auto scan just in case. Just in case it stops me from getting the achievement. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, it's funny though because in double speed, I don't think uh, I don't think it counts your playtime as double, which is kind of good. It'll, it'll mean you can speed you can speed run the game faster, right? Is that a legit strategy? Does does this change the meta for speedrunning? I don't know. All right. Got my skills. Got my equips. The best I can, anyway. Heal more is still level one. Oh, it's so bad. This isn't go. This is gonna be awful. All right, I need to fully buff my defense before I do anything else. Thousand damage, pretty good, right? I think. I don't know how much HP he has. I could have cheated and looked at his HP before before putting the challenges on. Eat kiwis or something. Oh, yeah? Alright, good start, I think. Uh, is it too early to use a limit break? I don't know. What? She missed. Let's, uh... Let's give her some accuracy. Oh, 
Oh, scan the boss. Yeah, I mean, I, I can scan him, but it's not gonna show me his HP. These healing items aren't very good. Oh, he's buffed. Can I actually debuff him? Is there anything I can do? Besides try to kill him quickly? Maybe I can tank some hits. Attack Matt. Aye, not bad. Oh, by the way, the bosses have dialogue now. Look at this beautiful dialogue. I swear the later bosses have more interesting things to say. Yeah, the enemy health bars are not showing because I'm using uh, challenges. So I have no idea how much health this guy has left. Uh, I, I can use revive on myself, right? That's maybe a good idea. Ah, uh, did you see? Did you see? Calculated. Melee attack with Natalie to dispel? Really? Can she do that? Not great, but it's actually they're all resistant to poison. Never mind. Yeah, that was okay. Uh, the mobile version will release in uh, maybe a month or two on Android, uh, iOS a bit later. But it will obviously be in, be in beta for a while, while I make sure everything's working. Whereas the Steam version is almost finished. At level 10, this isn't so bad. Being able to grind at double speed is uh, a big advantage, actually. Look, his bark itches. Oh, that was actually pretty painful. I'm gonna... All right, I'll try, I'll try the basic attack. Well, that did nothing. I'm gonna... Oh, boy. Get that auto-revive. Come on, friend dog. That was something. Okay. Okay. Not good. Uh, what do I do? How do I heal?
Fillmore is too weak. But it's my only choice. I need to I need to pray that friend dog does something good. That's good. That was good. have that much HP left, right? I'm gonna keep spamming friend dog to stay alive. Oh, evasive. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, here we go. Helps a little bit. Gotta use my cheese. Oh, that that evade is helping. Uh, let's give. Uh, yeah. There we go. Very nice. See, with a bit of grinding, it's not that bad. I think it still would have been possible to do at level 9. If you plan very well. If you get more, uh, more usable healing items from the store. Uh, where's my achievements? There we go! Look, I get a little star! So, uh, I got Lumberjack with a star, meaning I did it with all challenges turned on. And I also got Ace Challenger, defeat any boss on epic difficulty with all challenges enabled. So that's something. Oh, I'm not plugged into Steam right now, right? So I didn't get this achievement on Steam. But all the, all the new achievements already work on Steam, because I, I, I tried one out. But no one can get them until this version goes live. All right, let's get some, uh, let's get the axe and chop some trees. Thanks, Anna. We can chop trees now. Very exciting. New bow. Gaia's bow. New ham. Oh, I forgot to use my stat boosting items. Did anyone remind me to use these? But anyway, I don't have to play on Epic anymore. I can play on normal for a while. Yeah, that's nice. I didn't have to grind on Epic either. I could have grinded on, a, on an easier difficulty, so... You can play this game however you want. There's a lot of ways to cheese things. Well, let's get, let's get Lance and then do some backtracking. Look, there's a bush in the bushes. Look how wide these cutscenes are now. They're like twice as wide as they used to be. Like seriously, like 4x3 is not very wide. <laughs> Alright. Treasure chest. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Wait, 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 wait. There's an item. There we go. Guys, look, look. There's a new a new uh, cheat treasure finder, just like an EBF5. 
Now it'll tell you if you're missing something. Not here. Nothing here. All right, let's see. He said something new. I didn't read what he said. Let's chop down some trees. Is this going to be a full playthrough? Uh, maybe? If people keep watching, then maybe I will do the whole game. Aha! There's a treasure chest, chest here, and it's this one. It didn't show the key at all. That's something I need to fix. I changed how icons are loaded, so that's why it doesn't work. I need to fix that later. But yeah, icons load a lot faster now. That, uh, the problem with the icons was really starting to be noticeable in EBF5 because that game has like over a thousand icons. Oh, I can't get that until later. Do you have something for me? Looks like you're getting pretty good. Yes. Alright, nothing here. Back to town. Hold on. Oh, 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 the map's not working correctly. Look at that text. Oh, that's funny. Hold on. Let me take a note. So the map is different now. It doesn't show you... Uh, a picture anymore it shows you just screenshots of the areas and you can zoom in look at this look at that zoom so over here I can see that I finished a side quest so I can go do that I think I just walked past it earlier Uh, but you can't leave uh, markers on the map like you can in EBF5. Because, uh, I mean, the game world here is a lot smaller, so you don't really need them as much. Oh, what's this guy got for me? Nice. Alright, I'm going to go finish that side quest and then go into the caves. Yeah, the text is funny on the map because, uh, well, I just didn't program it properly. That's new text. That wasn't there before. So I, I just forgot to add a line of code to make it show the right one. So it's just cycling through all the languages very fast. <laughs> Zooming in on the map is actually insane. Oh, yeah? Like this? It's pretty helpful. Yeah, because that's a, that's a feature I added for the mobile version because, you know, your phone screen is so small, so you need to be able to zoom in. But it's also useful on PC as well. New hat. Very cool. All right, let's get out of here. The overall design from EBF5 looked better. Like, yeah, I would hope so. I, I put a lot more work into EBF5. Uh, configure any super chat. I, I don't know how super chat works. And I don't want to take donations through YouTube. If you want to donate extra money, you can do it by buying more games on Steam or uh, or giving a random amount on Patreon. Oh, 
Oh, I need to turn off the challenges. That's what I gotta do. Because I'm not playing with all of these on. Does the overworld look more zoomed in? Uh, well, the screen is wider, so in that sense, yes. Because uh, the menu used to be here at the bottom. See, this used to be here all the time. So I have, yeah, it, it is it is more zoomed in. Uh, oh, I have to fight the snail to go around, okay. Uh, this version will go live on Steam maybe in a week. Though it probably won't be the final one, it'll be like a beta version. Because uh, I'll need you guys to play through it to make sure everything's working. But yeah, it's almost done. There's only a few bugs left and that's about it really. All the features are already here. I need to just fix bugs and polish out a few things. Oh, I can't actually get in there. My bad. Yeah, you get the hammer much, much later. Yes, I do use limit breaks right away. Ooh, maybe I should use Anna's one. That'll do. Tasty beats. I know you. I think. Well, this, this isn't a new game. This is a very old game that I'm uh, I'm updating so I can publish it on mobile.
Yeah, how are you doing, Pasty? I haven't talked to you in a long time. It takes so long to get uh, uh, area of effect skills in this game. So that's why I keep using uh, summons to hit more enemies at once. Yeah, there's a lot about EBF5 that improves over this game. Oh, I said I would go to the fan arts. I totally forgot. Uh, I'll do that after this fight. Uh, it's not epic difficulty anymore. I was playing on epic, but then I got an achievement for the boss, and then I had enough. So I just changed it back to normal now. So I'm gonna gonna save for now, and I'm gonna show you some arts work. So, uh, the game already had quite a lot of fan art here, but I added, uh, like 20 more pictures. So, this is the, this is the artwork that's the thumbnail for this video, for this live stream. This, this artist has done a, he's done a lot of, uh, he's done a lot of, like, really big detailed, uh, artworks for both this game and EBF5, and the older games as well. Like, this guy's a really big fan. And uh, I believe he lives in Japan. Yeah, I don't live stream very often. Like, uh, usually when I have like a new project to announce. Or, uh, or I just find like a, a browser game that I really like and I want to share with people. So I think it's been quite a long time since my last live stream. Uh, I believe the, the artist for, for this one is in the chat. So, so you can tell him what you think of it. It's uh, it's quite eye-catching. Oh yeah, yeah. This is another another one by the same artist. And this one as well. Uh, this one's new as well. This one, I found this uh, on Steam. I, I don't know if this artist has like a page anywhere else. This artist, the one that did this, this uh, this clay stuff, they they seem to have vanished off the face of the earth. They did quite a few like clay things of the EBF characters, and then they they just disappeared and deleted all of their accounts, which is a shame. But at least I I saved most of it. Yeah, a lot of the stuff in the EBF series kind of kind of vaguely started when I was still in high school. Like uh, my earlier Flash stuff probably has a lot more of it visible. 
But yeah, yeah, I, I started pretty early, I guess. I was making web content before, like, uh, YouTube even existed, so that's something. Uh, this picture's new as well. I'm not sure if this is more EBF 4 or 5. I think it works for either one. Yeah, see you later, pasty. I really like it when uh, when bosses and other kind of characters like NPCs and stuff get fan art because it's kind of unusual, especially when it's uh, when it's the stronger version of the boss. I think there's not there's not a lot of fan art of the EBF4 bosses. Uh, these three artworks are new as well. There's another boss one. So this guy did these uh, these fan arts a long time ago, and then recently he made newer versions of the characters. So you can see how his arts improved a lot over the years. Is this version public now? Uh, no, it will be soon though. Uh, it'll be a beta version probably within a week that you can opt into. And then hopefully not long after that, it will go live for everyone. Is the Discord active? Yeah, the Discord is very active. But mostly by like super obsessive fans that play this for hundreds of hours. So you gotta, gotta watch out for those guys. If you're a casual EBF appreciator, you might be a bit overwhelmed by some of the people on the Discord. Oh, uh, this is new as well. There's uh, a decent amount of fan art of the, the dark characters. And Rania made this one. She's... Uh, She's in the credits now for uh, for helping a bit with the community management stuff. Yeah, and there, you got a new achievement for looking at all the new arts. Oh, spoiler, final boss. But I assume everyone's already seen the... I mean, the final boss is in the trailer for this game, so everyone's seen him. And uh, cutscene art. Look how wide it is. Very wide. It's actually not cropped properly here in the in the art menu. I might have to fix that. But I don't know if it matters. You can see the full image here, right? Because uh, in the game, some of it will be covered in the text. So you can actually see a little bit of the bottom here that you can't see in the game. So that's cool. That's something. Some trivia, I guess. Uh, so that's that. Back to the game. What time is it? Oh, I've been streaming over two hours, but I'm not I'm not quite exhausted yet. I can play a little bit longer. Mm, Alright, let's see. Oh, the reason the question mark is appearing above Anna's head is because I was showing off a new cheat called Treasure Finder. It's the same as the EBF5 one, where it tells you if there's any treasure chests in this area that you haven't found yet. So that's pretty helpful if you're backtracking and trying to, to find everything. It works for treasure chests and, like, uh, invisible items as well. Show the new achievements. Uh, the new achievements are... I haven't unlocked them yet. One of them is for looking at the new arts. 
One of them is for beating any boss with all the challenges enabled. Uh, what are the other ones? Oh, there's an achievement for resetting, uh, for resetting your stat items. There you go. Oh, what happened? I broke something. The, the numbers on the items disappeared. Interesting. Okay, that that's uh, that's curious. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, I'll figure out that out later. Uh, what other achievements are there? I added two achievements that were already in the game that were just unused. There's an achievement for beating the mammoth on epic, and an achievement for beating uh, Jack on epic. And the the final achievement I think is uh, yeah, play any battle with a cheese enabled. So the new achievements basically tell you to try out the new stuff. I'm no longer drinking Pepsi, I am now drinking beer. I'm drinking Asahi. When am I going to release the source code? Ah, oh, good question. I think I released the source code for EBF3 and EBF5, but not EBF4. So, I guess whenever beta testing is finished for this version, I can release the source code. If anyone's interested. Is version 3 dropping after the stream? Nah, maybe within a week you can play it. Uh, the source code is mainly for modding and for educational uses. I don't really want people using stuff in other games. It's so hard to find secret items in the Crystal Caverns because everything is shiny. Uh, the source code's on my Patreon. Uh, you can pay any amount. I think uh, the minimum is a dollar or two, but that, that should unlock everything. Though if you... Uh, yeah, if you send me a DM on uh, 
if you're a special person, you can send me a DM on Discord and I'll, I'll send you the source code. If you're a special, trustworthy person, like, uh, like I think everyone who's working on Ruffle can, can get the source code if they ask. I must warn you though, it's it's pretty big. It's gonna it's gonna stretch flash to the limit. It's gonna be pretty laggy. Cause uh yeah, all the assets are in one file basically. Ah, where are the secrets? There's so much shiny stuff. Yeah, EBF3 would be a huge pain to port because it's uh, it's an action script 2 game, which means I would have to redo all the programming. And it's also a free browser game, so I don't think I don't think it would really pay itself off very well. Yeah, there's not really enough content in the game for people to to want to purchase it, and yeah, it would be a lot of work. So I I, I don't think I'll be porting it to mobile, unless unless it works really well in Ruffle and, and just works without any changes. I don't know, but that's that's unlikely. I think uh, I think it would need like a dedicated serious port with uh, with some optimization. Uh, has the player skill scaling off of summon attack bug been fixed? Uh, I thought I fixed it in the last version, but some people said that I didn't, so I'll have to double check that. But yeah, I've got uh, I've got a bunch of bugs uh, that I discovered today that I'll have to fix before the next one. For the next live stream, which will be, I don't know, it depends how long it takes me to fix the problems, I guess. Maybe in two or three days. Maybe in three days. That gives me more time. I do need to play through the whole game just to make sure everything works. Oh, I've already been here. Never mind. I know the, the factory area doesn't work very well. The factory crashes very easily. And I uh, I don't know why, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Wow, someone's spamming in my chat. I'm going to put this user in a timeout for 24 hours. <laughs> no mercy. No mercy. Hi Matt, I'm chat. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I wish I could kill enemies faster. I have like no memory of this game. Like I have, well, I have a memory of like the maps and stuff. I don't have a memory of like what, what skills are good, what enemies are weak against. I don't remember any of that stuff. How's development been on, on version 3? Well, the worst part is how bad the code is in EBF4. Like, it's really bad. 
In EBF5, there's a lot of stuff that's easy to change, like the languages are much tidier, the user interface is not perfect, but it's, it's programmed better than this one. There's a lot of stuff that made my job harder because this was programmed so quickly. Am I on Twitch? No, I don't really use Twitch, so... I, I only go on Twitch when, like, someone is streaming my games and I want to watch. But other than that, I, I don't use Twitch for anything. life bars look like so empty if I don't scan the enemies. I need to show off the new feature of being able to see the enemies' names. Oh, do you have, oh, if you want to see a change list for this version, go back in the video later and I'll put it on screen at some point. I don't want to put it on again. Plus, at the start, at the start of this live stream, I went into detail about a lot of the changes, but not everything. Like, uh, I haven't done, I haven't even played Battle Mountain yet, and that's where most of the new stuff is. But obviously that, that stuff will be much more fun for you guys to play for yourselves. Finding all the new equipment, the new skills and summons and stuff. So I'll probably skim through all of that. Like I'll, I'll try to collect everything in, in this playthrough, but I won't be trying out everything. Like as, as you can see, most of my characters are still wearing their starting uh, equipments. And that's, that's probably not going to change very much. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on a uh, treasure finder to see if I'm missing anything here oh well obviously that chest huh maybe there isn't very much hidden here after all yeah that's not very useful yeah that's something that's a lot more useful at the end of the game Oh, one thing that's helpful is you can you can close menus by right clicking now, which is pretty handy. And you can also open the menu at the bottom by right clicking as well. Still, uh, there's no hotkeys for anything else though, <laughs> because that would involve some serious design consideration. I think these eye enemies are pretty cool, and it's kind of a shame they're not in EBF5.
Oh, and they have new sound effects that I added in version 2, I believe. A lot of enemies do. There's a lot of sounds that were changed. Because some of the older sounds were pretty sketchy. Oh, I forgot I had lands. He's got fire attacks. Oh, the area is already lit up. You are correct. I believe, uh, I believe I turned off the darkness to test something and then I forgot to turn it back on. Well spotted. Everything's missing. Wow. Even on normal mode. Yeah, it should be dark in this room. That's something I gotta gotta double check later. I don't know, is, is the stream more fun to watch when I'm, like, uh, playing a difficult boss, or if I'm just talking while playing on easy mode? Because, uh, there's a lot less people watching, but that's because the stream's been going on for over two hours. Sixty compatibility. I don't. I don't know what you mean by Xbox controller compatibility because I don't. The EBF games never really had any controller support. Unless you mean like, does it work for the keyboard stuff? I don't know. Because I. I don't think I programmed any of that. I'm tempted to play on double speed, but then if something's broken, I'm I'm less likely to notice if I'm if I'm speeding through the game. So like these normal fights, not that interesting. I should level up my other skills so that I have better coverage. But I'm, I'm too lazy. Well, if you want to play with a controller, you can play with the Steam controller. But I don't think they sell that anymore. Normal mode is pretty easy. Like, these enemies are doing nothing to me. But I did, uh, I did grind for two levels earlier. Or was it three levels? Huh. Ah, no legs isn't that strong anymore.
Something that people criticized in EBF4 is that the enemy weaknesses are a bit predictable in some parts of the game. Like here, everything is weak against fire, and in the factory, everything is weak against thunder. Which is kind of fun to play if you're playing it like an idle game, like you're not thinking too hard. It's quite nice that way. But that's something that kind of changed in EBF5 because people thought it was a bit boring. But it is kind of nice to be able to play through an area and uh, just kill all the enemies with the same attacks. It's kind of it's kind of like older Final Fantasy games where you didn't have to think too hard. There's a minor graphical problem here. Look at this spike here on the torch. The reason this happens is because uh, I moved all the torches to be kind of more in the center of your cursor. So they're easier to click on. It's a small thing, but it, it helps. Because in the original game, like, the hitboxes for everything were way off. Uh, does she have a side quest? No, she just, she just wants to talk. Lance's damage seems to be pretty good, considering I haven't upgraded any of his stuff. <laughs> Playing on normal mode, I don't have any reason to upgrade my characters, because they seem strong enough already. But, uh, I might make it to the boss today, and uh, in that case, I'm not going to play the boss on... Uh, with all challenges enabled, but I will play him on epic difficulty. Ah, a puzzle. Uh, I don't remember the best way to beat this, but shouldn't be very hard. Oh, this guy's excited. Congratulations on solving the puzzle. You're officially my new hero. Very nice. Biggest fan. Does anyone remember Weeble and Bob? That's an old reference. Mm -hmm. Do I do a collab with Terraria? I don't even know how that would work. I don't think my characters would be very recognizable in the Terraria style. They'd be so small. Alright, what do I need here? Let's kill them before they do any serious damage. Well, oh, they've got quite a lot of HP. I think the, the soundtrack to this game is probably the part that's aged the best. Like the, the graphics and the gameplay is pretty outdated compared to EBF5, but the music is still really good.
What do the hearts mean? What does it mean when people are giving me hearts in the chat? Ah, everyone's clicking hearts now. Is that it? Is it just people clicking the heart button? It's just a spammable emote. Interesting. Oh, there's more enemies. Okay. I guess the hearts are just to get my attention. I saw when I first started this stream there was a lot of hearts. It was pretty cool. And I guess they probably all still appear when you're rewatching the stream later. Because uh, I know the rest of the chat does. I mean, yeah, I guess the chat's pretty critical for rewatching the stream if you want to know what I'm talking about. Uh, what to do here? Yeah. Oh, he's defending. Very boring enemy. So many optional enemies here. I've already did grinding, so I don't think I need to fight anyone here. You can use attacks to hurt enemies! When, I, when people first played this game, they thought that was a bug, but it's just a very, uh, very deadpan joke. How can I play EBF4 on my phone? Well, you can't yet, but soon. Assuming you have an Android phone, because that will come sooner than iOS. iOS is so bad. I hate Apple so much. Like, I've been using an Apple phone for two years now for like market research, and I don't like it. I don't like the software. I don't like being a developer for iOS. Like, they make everything harder than it needs to be for no reason. It's very bad. I mean, Google's not great either, right? Like, I don't... I'm not going to say anything nice about Google's, uh, Google's features for Android. But I think iOS is even worse. Yeah, even just testing your app on an iPhone is really hard. You can't just test it like you can do on Android. On Android, you can install anything you want, right? If you have, if you enable like a permission on your phone to to install random apps, you can install whatever you want. Doesn't matter where you got it from. But on iOS, no, they won't let you do that. You have to jump through all these hoops to install anything. So even, even making a little test version of my app is a lot of work for iOS. It's really stupid.
<laughs> I wish the Linux phone was real. Yeah. Steam Deck is basically a Linux phone. Yeah, I think all of my games work in Linux on Steam. Uh, on Steam Deck. That's pretty weird, right? You you would forget that it's Linux and you would think it's just Windows, right? But it's not. How does it work? What is what is this magic? I don't know. I haven't used Linux in a long time, but I only used it for like serious stuff for university. Oh, monoliths are not weak against very much. Bombs are fun, though. What's my favorite skill in this game? I don't know. I haven't played this in three years. I guess we'll find out. I guess whatever skill I, I currently need to take advantage of elemental weakness is my favorite skill. Oh, I should have saved my bombs. Yeah, Valve seems to be doing a pretty good job on uh, just developing the industry, I guess. They're, they're getting stuff running on Linux, which is interesting. I think all of their hardware is pretty cool. Even if, uh, even if they abandon some of it, like the Steam controller, pretty quickly. I, I mean, I like the fact that they seem to be trying to innovate. Not everything they do works out, but that's alright. Yes, I am a wonderful artist and programmer. Sometimes. Well, uh, yeah, you should look forward to Hidden Cats, because that's going to be a pretty good game. At the pace I'm going at, I'm working on it pretty slowly, right? It's turning out to be much bigger and more polished than I expected, so... It's going to be a bigger game than EBF4 for sure. And it's going to be probably close to the size of EBF 5. Maybe not in terms of depth, because it's pretty casual. But it's, it's going to have a lot of content. Like, your first playthrough will probably take a long time. Yeah, Valve is pretty good because they're privately owned. So, uh, yeah, I hope uh, Gaben doesn't die anytime soon. I should upgrade my skills, but I'm so lazy. But, uh, never hurts to do more damage. But yeah, I feel like AP is really rare at the start of a game. You can only afford to upgrade a few skills. You'd like to see me doing art work. Well, I don't know. I, I just feel like I don't really have time for it. Whenever I feel like drawing, I just draw stuff for hidden cats instead. Because uh, there's an unlimited amount of stuff I can put in that game. 
There's always more assets I can draw. And the, the drawing for Hidden Cats is kind of fun because it's uh, it doesn't tire out my hands at all. Like I can draw all day and not get tired because it doesn't have a lot of it doesn't have a lot of brush strokes. It's like it's quite a clean art style. Ah, this torch is kind of positioned badly. Yeah, it's not that bad. It looks okay. It's kind of slipping off the map, but that's fine. It doesn't look. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should put something there under it. Oh, I should go back and get those treasure chests. But first. Oh, some awkward dialogue. Oh, I forgot to upgrade my skills. Oh well. No legs, go. That was pretty bad. Alright. Fire is bad here. Oh god. But poison? I'm not gonna change the AP because I don't I don't need to make the game easier in general. Like on normal mode it's it's not very hard. see what I can upgrade for Natalie oh firestorm yes that's all I need maybe heal more as well uh, for Lance what does Lance need flame burst yes more flame burst oblivion all the good stuff though for the boss I will need uh, I think I need barrier, but I need I need protect more. Anna's gonna be my buffing mule. She's the one I teach all my HMs to. She can learn surf and cuts and fly. Protect is pretty expensive though, and maybe maybe I can just use it repeatedly instead of upgrading it. Oh well. Get revived then. I'll, uh, I'll commit to fire. Why not? Oh, cleaver. Yeah, get more of that. Oh, eruption needs quake. Quake needs that. Oh, really? Okay. Eruption! Yes! There we go. The skill system is weird in this game. It's totally different in EBF5. It's so much cleaner in EBF5. Like, why do I have three versions of the same skill when it should all be the same skill? Alright, that's good enough for now. Let's see equips. Do I have the fire one? Yes, I do. Okay, good. I've got a fire one for Matt as well. Very nice. I'm going to be overpowered now. Anna is whatever. I'm not really using her. You've also got a fire thing. Okay. And uh, let's use these. Finally. Alright. Uh, attack. 
for maths, obviously. Magic attack, uh, an athlete. No, let's keep things simple. way overpowered for normal mode. Contest for hidden cats. Well, I, I'll probably put some fan arts into the game. I don't, I don't think I need anyone designing levels. Also, designing levels is pretty tricky. They're pretty complicated. Now that I have fireball for everyone, uh, these guys are not really weak against fire. Psh. Oh well. Good enough. Whatever. Do an ace medal then. Uh, okay, maybe I will. I'll try it again for the boss. You know what? Why not? People said the ace medals aren't too hard. Maybe I can give more of them a try. At least until I get to Battle Mountain, right? I think that would be pretty hard because I can't, I can't grind there, right? How did he survive? Well, well. Oh, you have an animation about EBF on your channel. Interesting. I'll check it out later. Uh, I like the cooldown system way more in EBF 5. The mana system is... It does nothing. That adds very little strategy to the game. Wow, nice. Very nice. Maybe I should learn some other skills. Some cheap ones. How do I get tank guns? Oh, it's expensive. Airstrike. Oh, I need this first? Okay.
Wait, isn't the menu bu uh, button blocking the exit behind the weapon shop? And sent not anymore. I, I fixed the menu button and now it moves out of the way. Maybe I can show you that later. Oh, there's four waves, wow. In that case, uh, let's power up. Yeah, yeah, this this uh, EBF4 will be like EBF5 on the mobile version. It'll be free to play with DLC to get a lot of extra stuff. Yeah, you can't get all the achievements in the free version. I, I, I know people don't like that, but it reminds them to, to buy the extra stuff. That's, that's just how it is. What is the purpose of the no grinding challenge? Uh, there's no penalty for switching it when you need to farm something. That's true. Like it's really easy to, to cheese, right? So it's only there for like, if you really just want to play through the game without replaying any battles. So it's, it's for there for, it's there for a self-imposed challenge because I know, I know some people play the game that way anyway, where they try not to refight anything. See you later, dude. I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm not going to try. Ah, fire is so bad here. Ice or water. Okay. <laughs> Did I start making games when I was 14? Uh, I started making animations for Newgrounds. I started making games when I was 18. I was taken on a mining trip when I was a kid. I saw terrible things that I will never forget. 
That's just how it is. Oh, gotta kill this guy. Oh, secret boss for later. Is there an achievement for beating him? I don't think so. So he's not part of the aces challenge. What? Okay. Oh, I need water now. I don't. Nah. Nah. Narwhal. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have the energy to beat the boss today. Like, uh, yeah, it's getting late, I'm getting sleepy, so maybe I'll stop soon. Though, uh, I don't know, like, people are dropping off. There's less people watching now. I don't know, I don't know, what do you guys think? Can you stay for, like, another half an hour for me to beat the boss? I could play at double speed to get there faster. Maybe that's what I should do. There is no bug in Lanky Root Jungle. That happens because you're playing on Ruffle on a Flash emulator and it doesn't fully support the game yet. So you should you should not play EBF4 in a browser. Play it somewhere else. It is indeed 11 p.m. over here, so I can go a little bit longer. I think the beer really drained my energy. Maybe I, I should stick to Pepsi. Uh, why is there all fire enemies now? I don't. I can't deal with this. I have to summon Narwhal. Oh, well, I think Supernova was not a Flash Player emulator. Supernova was just Flash Player in a plugin. So I think uh, I think Supernova was actually just a weird version of Flash. Now, this update will be out in a few days. Uh, I'll, uh, it'll probably be ready for beta testing sometime in the next week, I hope, because, uh, I'm getting a little bit bored of working on it, so I'm, I'm hoping it's almost done. Well, I bring back my old EBF animations, what? Well, where did they go? You can still watch them. Just die already. Oh, 
Okay, that was quite a lot of experience. Uh, the, the EBF 4 will be on mobile in a month or two, maybe, if things go well. No, actually, that's not true. It might take longer because uh, it depends how well the, the Steam update goes. If, uh, if there's nothing to fix, then it'll come out sooner. But if, uh, if Steam players find a lot of issues, then, then it means I've got a lot of things to fix first. I was gonna gonna double the speed. And these guys are all resistant to bomb. It's weird that people think that EBF4 has a good story because it really doesn't. Yeah, I use my limit break on these really weak enemies, but I do not care. question is, what level is this boss? Let's find out. I'm level 15 and he is level 15. So I can grind a level or two to make this easier. Let's do it. Da, 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 da. Oh. Annoying weaknesses. Don't grind, but I'm gonna play with all the challenges turned on. That'll be really rough. You want me to die? I need the most. Cleaver seems good.
Oh, someone should get barrier. Lance, you do it. Maybe two barriers. There we go. Oh, more heal more. Definitely. Alright, Natalie's yeah, this will be good against the boss. Oh, but what element do I want? Ah, I'll stick to this. None of these really help me very much. So I guess I'll leave it the way it is for now. Alright, well, let's see how attempt number one goes. Oh, try I've got an airstrike. My bad. But I do have bombs. No, I don't. Okay. I'll just hope that he's weak against fire most of the time. Oh, it changes whenever I hit. Interesting. All right. Well, who hits the hardest? Uh, how strong is eruption? 120. 60. Oh, that's weak. Okay. Mata is. That's a lot of damage. That's pretty good. Yeah, I know he's weak against water, but it would have been expensive to get water skills when I already had fire skills. Oh, Lance, what are you doing? Is, is that how easily my guys are going to die? Oh shit, he doesn't get a turn because he was dead? That's not good. That's all very bad. Maybe I should have upgraded my water moves as well. You know what? Yeah. Let's get some water moves. Can I afford any? No, I can't. How do I stop characters from dying? Do I have enough coffee? Six. Mm -hmm. I got Blast. Let's learn this. It's not very strong though at level 1, but it's something. Do I need the spell? I don't know. Get Water Arrow. Eh, yeah, okay. That's a good one, yeah. Anna, do you have a water bow? No, you don't, but this is fine. Alright, let's try again. Yeah. 
It resists water now? Oh, you guys lied to me. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Can I swap her out? There we go. Very nice. Oh boy. How how strong is Medipack? Medipack. Let's see. 800. Oh no, that's bad. Oh boy. Oh god. Weak against ice now. Oh, that's pretty bad. Oh boy. I just gotta kill him with our eruption very fast, or else I have no chance. Lance, you gotta gotta give me some food, yo. I can't hit him with water. Narwhal would have been pretty good otherwise. Yeah. Ice is okay. Oh, now he's weak against ice. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Oh, what happened to my defense buff on mats? All right, let's whatever. All right, let's go for it. That was not so good. Oh yeah, I forgot about the boss dialogue. Uh, maybe I shouldn't skip through all of that. But I'm just so concentrated on playing that I'm not, I'm not really reading what, what the characters are saying. Alright, Matt, get out of here. Oh, oh, you can't move. Oh no. Uh, um, lemon. Yeah, suck a lemon. Oh, this is not good. Do the massive damage. Very good. I wish it was easier to do that damage. Ouch. Alright, so... If I get if I get Lance to do his normal attack, will that turn him back to fire weakness? There we go. Oh no! Low MP for the first time. MP does something. All right, time to give Matt some cheese. Time to pay the cheese tax. I'm doing the big damage, but is it enough? Is it enough to win? Uh, Alright, let's hit him with Lance. Oh no! Wrong, wrong guy. Oh well, that was bad. Should have bought more lemons.
All right, it's going okay. Not bad. hit him with something weak. Hey, that was not so bad, actually. Oh, okay. Anna's limit break, not very useful here. Oh, is this... Maybe... No, both of these are useless. Oh, I need MP again. Interesting. Hey, look, I'm actually swapping because uh, it's easier than healing. Oh, he's wet now. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh well. All right, let's do ice. Ouch. Oh no. That's bad. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why is Natalie's limit break not charging faster? That's what I need. I don't have MP for revive. MP is actually important in this fight. How is this possible? He must be almost dead, right? I hope. Come on. I've neglected my defense. Stop on oh no. Whatever. Narwhal. Yes. Narwhal saves the day. I never scanned him, though. Doesn't matter. No way, I did. I didn't scan this guy. I don't know. I have no idea what happened. Whatever. What do I even hit this guy with? None of my guys have any MP left. Done. That wasn't so bad. I think uh, Mighty Oak was harder. <laughs> At least I had healing options this time. Alright, I got my next uh, star. So, uh, I can confirm that uh, auto scan is okay to use for the ace achievements. That's that's working as intended. Very nice. So I've got I've got a bunch of achievements already. Not bad. I've probably missed a lot of easy ones. Yeah. Oh, time for an easy achievement. There we go. Let's see. What else am I missing? I think it's probably time to wrap it up, really. What has it been? Uh, almost four hours? Wow. I got, uh, got a decent amount of testing done. I found a few bugs that I can fix before next time. And uh, a lot of people showed up to watch, which is good. It means people are excited. Oh wait, I don't want to go over there because something happens down there. Oh, treasure. Nice, nice, nice.
All right, then. I guess uh, I guess that's the end of the stream. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned something about the update. Oh, treasure, nice. I hope you, uh, yeah, I hope you're looking forward to the update, and uh, with some luck, it'll be ready for beta testing soon. It doesn't look like there's a lot of stuff I need to finish off. Just, it depends on how, how complicated some of these bugs turn out to be. So yeah, coming to Steam very soon, coming to mobile a bit later, and uh, look forward to it. And I, I will end the stream with uh, with the change log on screen here. There you go. You can look at all the stuff if you're interested. And I am gonna go do something else. So see you guys later. Maybe I'll stream again soon. Maybe I'll be too busy programming. We'll see. Good night.